the Virginia Cavaliers, eight and five last year, four and four in the conference. Returning starters, they got six on offense, seven on defense. Experience returning, number 56 in the country, number five in the conference. They're over under. The juice is the same on both sides. Sure. Minus 110. The over-under is seven and a half regular season wins. Head coach Bronco Mendenhall, 16 and 22 in three years at the helm, has taken Virginia to back-to-back -back bowls. Uh, that's the first time since 2004, 2005 for this team. I like Bronco so much. Oh, yeah. Quarterback Bryce Perkins returns, and wide receiver Joe Reed could absolutely break out. The offense needs the young offensive line to step up. They had the number 20 total defense in 2018. They are loaded at all three areas on defense. Uh, the defense is going to be lights out again this year. That's what Bronco Mendenhall does. Sure. Um, with Miami, Georgia Tech, and North Carolina debuting new coaches, this is the year for them to win the division, which sounds kind of crazy considering Bronco's only been there for three years. But, like, it's it's funny to look back. Everybody thought, oh, man, Virginia Tech nailed the Justin Fuente hire. Virginia, Bronco Mendenhall, how is that going to work? He's coming in. Like, what is what are they going to do? That's like, right. How is he going to transition from BYU to this? And truth is, good coaching, it don't matter where you put them, they're going to understand how to build a team from the ground up. Correct. He has laid the perfect foundation here. Bryce Perkins at quarterback, he is just a, a difference maker. Not so much in like playmaking ability, et cetera, which he's, he's good, but that entire team Decision is making. different with him on the field. That's right. So with him being back senior season, like I love – this team this year, the schedule kind of difficult, but that's okay. I think they win a lot of games. I think they go nine and three. They finally get the Virginia Tech monkey off their back. I think they are six and two in the conference. I don't think they win the division though. I've got Miami. In there. Got Miami win that. Yeah, okay. but it, it wouldn't surprise me if they were to go and win at Miami and they go ten and two. And Miami. they win the division. And they win the division. That would that would change so, it. That would change. It. I've got them nine and three too. I've got Miami nine and three. I've got them nine and three. And um Virginia Tech. And Virginia Tech nine and three. There I mean, I know we haven't got to Virginia Tech yet, but I, I I don't know that they get the Virginia Tech monkey off their back yet. Maybe they do. I know it's at home, but I don't know that that matters. I think I think there are gonna be just as many Vatech fans there as, as Virginia fans. You think Virginia's got a chance to beat Notre Dame? I mean, it's on the road. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, no, yeah. So, hang on. Remember what we talk about with Notre Dame fans at home, okay? Every ticket that is sold on the aftermarket when is, is a big program team. is because this is your one chance to go to Notre Dame. Yeah. And so every Virginia fan for, for their entire life is going to finally get a chance. They're spending whatever they got to spend. To go to Notre Dame. And they're going to go to Notre Dame. We saw this with Georgia. Now, Georgia's a substantially better team and better program than Virginia, but it doesn't matter. It does not matter. This is the one opportunity that Virginia is going to have to go there in a long, long, long time. I think that place will be almost halfway Virginia fans. I don't know about halfway, but, no, but there'll be but a lot. There, yeah. there going to be enough to where you don't have a substantial crowd advantage. Yeah, there's now, no you got to sleep advantage. on your own home in your own bed, and, and you get to go to the restaurants that you know and you like, and you, your routine is a little different. But the crowd behind you and maybe getting calls because of that, not happening. Yeah. Just just not going to be so over overwhelmed with Notre Dame fans because that's just another game for them. Yeah. Now, you're, you're right. You're right. Let's finish up. Come on.